Okay, let's talk about complexity on this lovely morning. I'll link to the video to which I'm referring in this video in the description below. Is that the correct, uh, the correct uh, way of expressing oneself in a video? In the description below. Um, Naftali Bennett was talking about the need for regime change in Iran. Um, well, that was done once. I still remember the Shah, and I remember him being a horrific, cruel dictator. So the Iranian people went from one horrific dictator to other horrific dictators. This is what I'm trying to say. Even though the people of Iran are very nice, on the surface, they are generating self-destructive systems. And if you take away the current self-destructive system, they'll only replace it with another. A person responded to one of my comments to Naftali, a person from Iran responded, and he or she said the situation is complicated. Um, <laughs> complicated is, is like a buzzword for we are, we are very intelligent people who generate extremely complex situations that don't have simple solutions. Complexity is not generated by intelligence. Complexity is generated by people who have complexes. It is generated by murky minds it is generated by people who have tangled emotions. And the worlds that they generate are then complex because they have complexes. It is not a sign of intelligence. A sign of intelligence is being able to generate a peaceful, straightforward world. Now that doesn't mean that that world doesn't have layer upon layer upon layer of how peace expresses itself to discover, but it's not, it, it, it's not a morass. It is not a complex tangle. And in order to solve problems in society, we have to resist the temptation to feel the allure of the complex and respond to it with even more complexity. Okay, so now we have to put together a think tank and uh, committees and we have to have uh, university professors uh, uh, talking about this and uh, writing books about this and giving lectures about it and like you know and and, and all kinds of, of industries of complexity are then generated and it just gets murkier and murkier if a people are in a complex situation they have to look inside and deal with their own complexes Intelligent, healthy consciousness generates amazing worlds, but they are not a morass. They're complicated in the sense of having a, a, a lot of, of what to discover and a lot of layers of depth, but they don't have that, they don't have that murkiness, they don't have that um, quicksand kind of a, a feeling about it. You don't feel like you're walking into the black forest. Um, phenomena like that are generated by people with complexes. And rather than them giving in to the, the temptation to congratulate themselves on how very, very complex and neurotic they are, they are it used to be a thing in New York when I was growing up, like the more neurotic you were, the more you were like taken for an intellectual. Um, to resist that and return to simplicity that generates worlds that are variegated, but not complex in the sense of, of, of sucking you in and uh, getting you involved in that, which you can't uh, disengage from. Thank you for listening.